let's talk about fluid development tools. So the good thing is that nothing missed, uh, nothing changed on this part. We are still using our image designer, application designer, and um, people code for creating the pages. We still have to go through the process of creating fields, records, pages, and components, suggesting components. So that basic understanding of how to implement any page, etc., will remain same. Of course, with some little changes over there. Apart from the, that, the major change is the addition and use of web development technologies like CSS3, HTML5, and JavaScript. It is not important that you should have prior knowledge of these uh, web technologies to start working on Fluid. However, when, we, when you will start working on it, you will get a good understanding uh, that how it actually works. So let me take a quick example. So this is a home page I've created for demo purpose. You can see that this is a simple page which is uh, capturing information for employee for salary and employee designation. There is a save button. So if we try to see it in the application designer, so this is the project where I created it. So we need to create any field if required separately or we can use uh, developed delivered fields. Then we will create the records, whatever is required and the pages. So page design would look something like this where we add the group boxes and buttons. Then the only change um, or the main change we have on this is if you go to the page properties and if you go to the use you will see this fluid page checkbox checked and you can provide the style sheet information etc on this fluid page then we add it in the component and also in the component there is a tab called fluid mode where we have to check this fluid mode checkbox to make it uh, fluid compatible and then there are different changes uh, like search record you have to manage and search pages we have to manage 